Hello and welcome back. In my last video, we took a look at the new feature of iOS 13 that allows you to attach external storage over USB and transfer files to the iPhone. In that video, we took an Amazon Kindle, plugged it into the iPhone and downloaded files on the iPhone and then copied them over to the Kindle. It got me thinking, what other cool or unique USB devices might work with the iPhone? And honestly, the first thing that came to mind was a zip drive. Now, love them or hate them, these things were pretty ubiquitous in the late 90s for transferring large files from person to person or simply backing up your computer. Now, I know Apple's primary intention for this new feature of the iOS is for these jump drives or solid state hard drives or SD cards. Surely not a removable a mechanical media from the 90s. But uh, let's take a look. Let's plug it in and see what happens. We're going to plug it into the USB 3 camera adapter kit here. We have power here at this little lightning cable. And let's see what happens when I put the disc in. And there it is. We've got a MP3 on here. And we've got a PDF file. So you can pull up anything that the iPhone can open right off the disk, play media, look at pictures, PDFs, documents, and of course we have read access as well. So I'll go in here and let's just copy a photo, copy to the uh, ZIP250 drive, copy, and we'll copy that photo over. Even though it's the 250 drive, it's still USB 1, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. And we'll go back to the ZIP 250 drive, and there's the photo I copied. And that's it. ZIP drives work no problem. Well, not exactly no problem. There is one issue. Since this was not designed for removable media, there is no eject button here. So there's no way to get the disk back out by just pushing a button here. You have to unplug the zip drive so it loses power and disconnects, and then plug it back in and hold down the eject button here as it's powering up, and then it'll eject the drive. So one thing Apple has added is if you connect to a network share in the Files app, it does have a little eject button next to it to remove it. So it's possible they could put that in for removable media as well. Maybe I'll email Apple and report it as a bug. But anyway, as it stands, it works pretty well, uh, just as you'd expect. So iPhone to iOmega zip drive, 2019, pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to have several more coming out soon. Thank you.